the first time I heard Olivia Truman Control, I, I instantly loved it. I just heard a song on uh, WUOG, and I was like, this is, this is great. This is exactly the kind of stuff I'm into. So I was a huge uh, Olivia Truman Control fan. Even when I knew them and was friends with them and all that kind of stuff, I was a big fan in the, in the classic traditional way. And, you know, me and Will made friends and uh, talked a lot and all that kind of stuff and talked about music and, you know, we're in this scene where this kind of thing happens and he asked me to play drums and I started playing drums. When I first joined the band, uh, I also joined the band sort of as an engineer, uh, co-producer, collaborator, and uh, we did a bunch of recordings starting fresh with me as a drummer and, uh, you know, in Will's house I brought over some mics and... We set up just kind of a simple setup and did some live guitar and, and vocal and drums together and that kind of became the seed for some of the stuff that made this record and some of the stuff that hadn't made it. But a lot of it, the stuff that made the record was four track stuff or digital eight track stuff that um, Will had done previously. And so a lot of it was like stuff that was 70% and already when we first got it and then just finished it off. But one of the things that took so long getting it done was we were kind of all mystified by the how to condense it down to one record. Because when I joined Circulatory System, I was literally handed a, a half of a manila envelope, you know, big manila envelope, cut in half, that was uh, painted and wrapped in duct tape and uh, collaged with, you know, birds and little little snippets for magazines with little kind of sayings and all this kind of stuff and inside that that manila envelope was 20 CDRs full of songs and and in in some cases they would be you know 10 different versions of one song that he had done and we were basically given this task of condensing this down to one record <laughs> Then we just kind of sat on it for a while. I mean, all the rest of us are in different projects, so it was easy for us to kind of move on and into the the busyness of of stuff that was moving. And uh, it kind of sat for a while longer. And then uh, Charlie Johnston, who I played in uh, 63 Crayons with, got brought into the band, and he had kind of a fresh energy for it. Maybe that maybe some of us didn't have at that point. I think he is kind of responsible for for editing together the side A, and then. Then that went to a, to its stopping place. You know, he got as far as he did. And then uh, this other guy, Nisi Gallons, um, he came in and he had a fresh energy for, and he kind of created a sequence for side two. So we ended up finally, after all those years with a side A and a side B, once we put that together and kind of made some minor tweaks, we're like, okay, done, done. Let's finish it, put it out. Mm -hmm. 